today, basically, I'm just going to give you an insight on what different types of materials and things we could use to make our lights go blinky blinky and look good at the same time. Um, the biggest thing that you have to worry about is not what it looks like because at night time no one sees it except for the lights. Alrighty, so types of materials that we can use. Bit of steel, wire frames, PVC pipe, corrugated, corrugated plastic or coral core flute, whatever you want to call it, 3D printed, and just about anything you can attach a light to. So with the steel, that's my mega tree from last year. I live near the coast, so we get some bad wind every afternoon. So I made my tree out of steel. It's a um, 35 mil square tube with 40 mil square tube. Exactly as what Rupert has put up on the ACL site. So we've got the mega trees. I like to do my stuff out of steel, just so when it gets that wind up, you get a little bit of flex in the pipe, that's about it. Um, Designing your own wireframes. Um, Lightning did a very good insight in how to make your own wireframes. I think it was last year at the Sydney Mini. Um, just by heading up some round bar, and just drawing out a design and just tracing it basically with it. Signs. Tune two signs, whatever. Just get a piece of steel. Put up a sign on it. Wireframes. Now with the wireframes, Basically, you can go to, um, if you want to do a, like a, someone's done an Indian guy down the bottom here, as you can see, make a, make a, um, a drawing of it, put it down on a, on a piece of board, and you can just trace your steel around it and put lights up on it, just to make something very spectacular like that. Um, and even convert your store bought lights. So you can go to Bunnings after Christmas and buy reindeers for 10 bucks, rip the lights off them, put some RGBs on it. There you go, you've got a prop for next year. You can even leave it like that, hook them up to a DMX that Alan sells, and away you go. There we go. Another good one is um, the bunny plant um, plant trainers, spiral trees. We're just putting some lights on those, and they they do some really really cool effects. PVC pipe, as you can see by my house there, PVC is unreal for straight lines. Um, easily attaching to gutters, frames. Um, there's so many different ways you can attach it to anything. Um, you can drill it into your brickwork, put some cable bands on it. You'll be right. Anything for a straight line, vertical, horizontal, doesn't matter. Along the driveway, just drill it into the driveway there. And put some PVC down with some strip on it, and it looks great. Um, yeah, house outlines, etc., etc. You can even make spinners out of it too. Um, even um, um, great Christmas light fight from last year, and this guy had put on 20 feet high fireworks spinners off his roof and it looked spectacular it really does I just don't want to try to model that up corrugated plastic this is basically what you can see everywhere here everywhere here um, shape and design yep just drawing it and cut it out it is a pain to cut it really is but it's easy to drill on so you can put some holes in it and off you go um, yes, Boscoyo products or corrugated plastic. Everyone here obviously heard of Boscoyo. James does a fantastic job, as you can see in my house, it's full of it. And I'm also a reseller of Boscoyo. So if you need anything, some of it up there for sale. I don't have much anymore because, um, good old Sydney Mini wiped me out. 3D printed. Here's one for Lithgow, he's listening to. That's one of his um, snowflakes he made here. It's only limited by your own imagination of what you can build. 
It is phenomenal. And he's making fun of me right now, isn't he? Yeah, I bet. Um, this guy showed us a couple of weeks ago that you can just about do anything. He's made little groots, all sorts of things, R2D2s, put lights in it. Um, if you need a bracket to even make something hang or anything like that, you can. if you could think about it, you can make, you manufacture it in a 3D printer. It is so simple. But there, obviously there is a cost involved, so if you're really nice to this guy, he might do something for you. See, he loves mucking around with that thing. Yes, you can do, obviously, snowflakes and even pie cases to hide your pies, raspberry pies somewhere around the yard, wherever you want to go. Um, it's endless from what you can do with a 3D printer. Whatever you can put lights on. As you can see by El Paso lights over there, he's got lights on everything that you can think of. His palm trees, his roof, his trees at the back, um, windows, house, his front fence. He's put lights on anything. So I've even seen, um, was it, is it King? Use a bicycle rim to the top of his mega tree. So you, you can, whatever you can think of. If it looks great at night time when the lights are off, chuck a light on, see how it goes. This is El Paso. It doesn't look like that anymore, trust me. <laughs> it's a lot bigger now. It's a lot bigger. Um, yeah, yard trees, garden beds, fences, whatever you can put lights on. Chuck a light on it, see if you like it or not. It's the beauty about X lights. You can even see what it looks like before you even put it on there, before you actually put the light on there. So, and that's about it for me.